in a significant decision, the Supreme Court has rejected plea calling for 100% cross verification of electronic voting machine votes with VV pads. Justice Sanjeev Khanna's main opinion was supported by Justice Dipankar Datta in a separate opinion. The announcement of the verdict happened at the same time as the second phase of voting for the general elections to the Lok Sabha. The Supreme Court gave two instructions to the Election Commission. The court said that the symbol loading unit in EVMs should be sealed after symbols are loaded and this unit should be kept for at least 45 days. Further, after the results are announced, if candidate in serial number 2 and 3 requested, a team of engineers will check the burnt memory in the microcontroller of the EVM. The court also suggested that the poll body to explore the possibility of using a machine to count VVPAD slips. With that, the Supreme Court has directed that candidates can verify 5% of EVMs, including ballot unit, control unit and VVPAD from any assembly segment of a parliamentary constituency. This verification will be conducted by engineers from the manufacturers and candidate can request this verification in writing within seven days of the election result being declared. The district election officer will certify the verification process and the candidate will bear the expenses. If any tampering is found in the EVM, the candidate will be refunded the expenses as well. Meanwhile, Justice Datta said in the judgment, while balanced perspective is important, but blindly doubting a system can breed spectism and thus meaningful criticism is needed, be it judiciary or legislature, etc. Democracy is all about maintaining harmony and trust among the pillars. By nurturing a culture of trust and collaboration, we can strengthen the voice of our democracy. Now, let me give you a brief of what happened earlier. So, the petitioners, including the Association of Democratic Reforms, argued that the voters should feel sure about the electoral process. They said that 97 crore registered voters in the country deserve a transparent electoral system whether or not EVMs are used. But the court has clearly mentioned that its approach in this matter is guided by evidence. For more such videos, do follow India.com.